Many of you told us that you want even tougher questions. So in this Pub Quiz Masters Challenge, we've ramped up the difficulty level. We'll reveal the answers at the end of each of our five rounds. And stick around to the very end for a final bonus question. Let's do this! Our first round is about airport codes. Those three letters that show up on your ticket and baggage tag, telling you which airports you're flying to and from. Question 1. The airport serving Paris uses the code CDG. Name the statesman for whom this airport is named. Question 2. The airport code SIN might be perfect for Las Vegas, nicknamed Sin City, but it's actually the code for the airport on which island nation? Question 3. LHR is the code for the busiest airport in Europe. Name it. Question 4. PEK is the code for an airport serving a large world capital. Name the city and the city's former name that explains the code. Question 5. New York City is served by three major airports. Name the only one not in New York State. Hint. Its code is EWR. While you are decoding those airport codes, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know what topics you'd like to see in a future quiz. Okay. The answers to round one. The statesman who gave the Paris airport its name and code was France's former president, Charles de Gaulle. The airport code SIN is used by Singapore Changi Airport. The busiest European airport, LHR, is London's Heathrow Airport. PEK is the code for Beijing Capital International Airport. Before the 1980s, the city was more commonly called Peking. And finally, the New York City Airport with the code EWR is Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey. While we're in a jet-setting mood, let's talk about world borders in our second round. Question 1. Name the two large countries that border 14 other countries the most in the world. Question 2. Name the tiny landlocked country bordered and surrounded by Italy. Question 3. Which two countries on the South American continent don't share a border with Brazil? Question 4. Which two countries share the longest continuous land border in the world? Question 5. The border between which two African Z countries is defined largely by the Zambezi River, including Victoria Falls. I'll give you a few moments to sort out your borders. You could also use this time to subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss another pub quiz. Okay, the answers to world borders. The two large countries that border 14 other countries are China and Russia. In question 2, San Marino is the landlocked country surrounded by Italy. Brazil is so large that all but two South American countries border the nation. Ecuador and Chile are the exceptions. In question 4, the two countries that share the longest continuous land border in the world are Canada and the United States. And finally, the two Z countries separated by the Zambezi River are Zambia and Zimbabwe. We're calling our third round football, football or football. We'll describe a sport and you have to decide if we're talking about Australian rules football, American football or association football that we'll call soccer for clarity. Question 1. This football is played on an oval field. Question 2. In which football might you find an inverted winger? Question 3. The football in which each team has more than 11 players on the field at a time. Question 4. This football includes the defense, the offense, and the special teams. And question 5. 
Which football has the longest scheduled regulation playing time? While you kick around your answers for round three, please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you'd like us to make more Pub Quiz Masters challenges like this. Okay, your football answers. The game played on an oval field is Australian rules football. It's usually a modified cricket ground. The inverted winger is typically found in soccer. The sport with more than 11 players on each side is Australian rules football. Each team usually fields 18 players at a time. The football that includes offense, defense and special teams is American football. And question five, the longest scheduled football match is played in soccer. Regulation time is 90 minutes. We're calling round four woodworking. Hollywood may be the film capital of the world, but many other countries have areas that specialize in making movies and television. We'll give you the wood nickname, and you just have to name the country. For example, Bollywood is the most famous filmmaking industry in India. Question one. Which South Asian country's film industry is popularly called Dali Wood? Question two. Where in East Africa would you find films being made in Swahili wood? Question three. If you wanted to visit a movie set in Wellywood, where would you need to travel in the Southern Hemisphere? Question four. Nollywood films are typically produced in which West African country? And our final wood question. What South Asian country is home to a filmmaking region often called Lolly Wood. We'll have the answers in just a moment. And don't forget about our final bonus question at the very end. Okay, our woodworking answers. Dali Wood is the nickname for the film industry of Bangladesh. The name is a mashup of the country's capital Dhaka and Hollywood. Swahili Wood is the name of the movie making industry of Tanzania. It's a combination of Swahili, the country's official language, and Hollywood. Wellywood is a nickname for the film industry centered in Wellington, New Zealand. The name developed in the 1990s when the Lord of the Rings movies were filmed in the country. Nollywood has become a popular nickname for the Nigerian film industry. And finally, Lollywood is often used to refer to Pakistan's film industry. The name is a mix of the city of Lahore and Hollywood. Our final round is puzzling. Literally, all you have to do is solve these riddles. Question one. What has keys but can't open locks, space but no room, and you can enter but can't go inside? Question two. What is as light as a feather, but even the strongest person can't hold it for long? Question three. What runs all around a backyard, yet never moves? Question four. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? And finally, question five. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Riddle me this. How can you see more fun trivia videos like this? Just hit the subscribe button. All right, our puzzle answers. In question one, the keys that can't open locks are on a keyboard. The answer to question two, the thing you can't hold for long is your breath. The thing that runs around the backyard in question three is a fence. The answer to question four, the more footsteps you take, the more you leave behind. And finally, the thing that comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years, is the letter M. Now to our final bonus question. The category is world languages. The question, which language is known for its three writing systems, Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji? If you said Japanese, you are a pub quiz master. 
congratulations. We hope you found Pub Quiz Masters challenging. Be sure to check out more of our fun pub quiz videos.